What's up, everybody? Me Time Gamer here, bringing you the first episode of my new series, Elevator Pitch Review, bringing you the quick positive and negative of a new game recently released. Let's get started with the Xbox One console exclusive, Quantum Break. Roll the intro! Before we get into the positive and negative, let's go through the quick details about the game. This game is available on Xbox One and PC Windows 10. Uh, personally, I played on the Xbox One version. This game was released April 5th, 2016. The developer for the game is Remedy Entertainment and is published by Microsoft Studios. The game is classed as an action adventure and a third person shooter game. The ESRB rating is M for mature. It's only a single player game and it's available for download or in disc form. All right, let's get into the plus and negative of the game. Hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. That's where I am. So basically, to start off, the game has, for all the pluses in the game, uh, the game has a very interesting story in, uh, per se. It's not the most expansive story, but the story is still very uh, fun to watch and listen to and play through as you're playing through the game. Also, uh, the game features to an enhance the story includes uh, live action between uh, there's four live action sequence of 22 minutes uh, between the fi the five acts of the game. The game is graphically outstanding and it has what I found personally innovative innovative uh, game mechanics, which is includes the time warp and all going through times and stuff. Personally, I found the actors uh, like uh, Sean Ashmore, who plays Jack Joyce in the game, uh, played very well their, their role in the game. It didn't seem like it was forced or anything like that, and they really did a, a great job at it. Also, what he really helps the story along, if you go into uh, the, your timeline settings, you have what, what are called time logs, and it, add, it adds a lot of good context to the game. Also, another positive is the audio. The audio very, creates a very good atmosphere, and what's cool is if you stream the game, there's also a, you can turn on and off copyright songs, which is an awesome feature. So that's it for what the main positive of the games are. The main negative of the game, uh, I do find when you end the story, there's some loose ends that are not uh, tied up properly that leads you to wonder what what's going on. Uh, occasionally the game on Xbox One is laggy, I don't know if it's the same issue with the PC version, but the Xbox One version is a bit laggy. Not all the time, usually it's always at the, at the start of the, an act that's a bit more laggy, but usually it's pretty fine besides that. The ending is, personally I found the ending a bit predictable, but it was still a pretty good ending. You, you could have... If you think about it for a couple of minutes, you'll probably find, figure out the ending just a bit. But it's you don't. It's not. It's not. It's not a stupid ending. It's still a very good ending. Another negative is I wish they could have took a bit more time naming uh, the the mechanics you use, like the attacks and stuff. Like instead of calling like time blast or time shield or every every thing every upgrade everything has a time before it, which is just seems like it was slapped on there for the at the last minute. Another thing is if you didn't notice it when you're playing the game, well you'll notice eventually, but there is upgrades to upgrades your, your powers in the game. The problem is, is I've played the game with only using, only upgrading two of mine one time, and I didn't felt like it really changed the game. So I wish they would have took a little bit more time and effort to implement those even further into the game, which would probably made it even better. Uh, there's also the shooting mechanic, which is goes a company with your time, the time mechanics, which I feel like the shooting mechanic could have been a bit tighter. The game also includes a self-hiding mechanics, which is a bit frustrating at times, but it still works most of the time. One last negative is I wish that they would have maybe more weapons in the game. That would have really helped a little bit more. So my final verdict for the game is buy the game. Uh, to get a better understanding of my, re my review scale, please visit the link uh, metimegamer.com forward slash review dash guidelines to see why what buy it means in my review scales. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. I would really appreciate that. It would be really awesome if you guys subscribe to the channel. would also, uh, also like that. Also, follow me on, tw on Twitter at metimegamer. You can also catch me almost every day on twitch.tv forward slash meter where I play a variety of games from my collection including the releases and more. Thank you for watching the first episode of Elevator Pitch and keep on keeping on.